you got a new computer with Windows 11 or you just upgraded to Windows 11 and now you would like to install Python. In this video I'm going to show you how to install Python on Windows 11 and how to fix your installation if Python is not available in your command prompt. Welcome! I'm Konz, I got a master's degree in computer science and work with Python on a daily basis. And if you would like to install Python on Windows 11, you first have to download the installer. You can get the Python installer on the Python website, python.org slash downloads slash windows. And then you go to stable releases and download the Windows installer 64-bit. When the download of the Python installer has successfully finished, head over into your downloads directory and double click on the Python installer. And before you click on install now, make sure to check add Python to path. Otherwise Python won't come up as a command in your command prompt. So we check that and then click on install now. To check if the Python installation was successful on your system, you have to open the command prompt. You can find the command prompt by using the search menu and enter command and then click on this black icon. In the command prompt, enter Python minus minus version, which will show you the Python version you have just installed on your system when everything was successful. For me, this is Python version 3.9.9. And if you like this video so far, make sure to give it a like so it can spread to more people and more people can learn about how to install Python on Windows 11. If the command Python minus minus version doesn't show you the Python version you have just installed, but shows you Python is not recognized as an internal or external command, that probably means Python wasn't added to the path environment variable. And now I'm going to show you how to manually add Python to the path environment variable. To edit the Windows 11 environment variables, you have to go into the system properties. You can open the system properties by pressing Windows R and then entering sysdm.cpl and press enter. This will bring up the system properties dialog and in here you're going to advanced and then environment variables. This will bring up the environment variables dialog and in here you can find the path variable. And now you would like to edit that one. So select it and click on edit. And in here you can see several paths that have been added already to the path variable. For Python we have to add two paths to the path environment variable. To do that we click on new and the first path we're going to enter is C colon backspace users then your username, for me that is cons, for you it is probably something else. App data, local, programs, Python, Python 3.9. If you have a different version of Python that might change, make sure to check that in your explorer. And then in the end, a backspace and press on enter. And the second path we're going to enter is almost the same. However, we are going to add scripts at the end of the Python 3.9 path and press on enter as well. And then we can leave the system properties dialog again, click on okay, okay, and okay. We can now restart the command prompt and check if Python is available now. And for that we enter Python minus minus version once again and press enter. And now we can see Python shows up at, as Python version 3.9.9. I hope this video was helpful for you and you can now use Python without any trouble on Windows 11. Remember that you can find all the things I have said in this video also on my website for which you can find a link down below in the description. If you got any questions on this video make sure to let me know down below in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified when I release a new video. Big shout out to my Patreon subscribers for their support. And if you want to know how to install multiple versions of Python on your Windows system, check out this video over here.